Hey guys, it's me, Flush, and today I'm going to be showing you how to extrude like this. So I've included a free FMR in the, in the description, um, so yeah, you can go grab that, uh, and I'll be using it in this video. Um, so once you have your skin in, uh, just go into your layers and unlock the body and unlock the joints, um, and then just open up the rig, and we'll start off by doing the head. Um, so just select the uh, extrude underscore mesh head, uh, just find it and make it visible, uh, and do the same for the mesh hat, and then uh, just spread these apart, just move that over, and... Uh, Move that over as well. So we'll do the uh, we'll do the head first. So just go to your polygonal selection tool and then live selection, and then just select everything that is in the hair. So all the skin and the eyes. Set the maximum angle to 91 and the offset to 5, and then just apply. Um, so now we have uh, now we have our hair. Um, just go to your uh, use back to the model mode and uh, just move it over to uh, to zero. So now we have our hair. Uh, but we still need the the hood and the second hat layer, so we have um, we have a hood like and hair on this, um, and we want to split them apart so we can edit them individually. Uh, so to do that, just select all the hair, and once you have all that selected, just hold Control and drag up um, to make a to make a copy, uh, and then just press U I on your keyboard to invert the selection and then delete. So now we have uh, this with just the just the like just the hair uh, and you want to do basically the opposite for for the hood so just select everything that is in the hood uh, including the transparent pixels all right so once you have that just press delete again um, and we delete the we do delete the transparent pixels because uh, when you render you'll get this for like white box um, sort of white like line I guess you can uh, you can edit out in Photoshop but it's just annoying and it's easier to do it this way uh, so we'll extrude uh, We'll extrude the hood first, so just select it all, uh, D for extrude, and just set the offset to 3. Uh, we'll move it over here, um, and press, just go to your scale tool and uh, scale it up so that it fits. Just like that, uh, that's good. Um, and we'll actually, we'll go back to our polygonal selection, uh, select it, and just select everything and then right click uh, and go to your brush tool. And just set the strength to 50 and the radius to 50, and we'll just sort of shape the hood. All right, so you don't have to do this, but uh, I like to. And yeah, now we have like a. It, it looks a little bit better uh, in my opinion. Um, we'll do uh, we'll do the hair now. So just select it all. D. Set the offset to like five. Um, and you'll get this. Uh, you get this glitch. Um, this might not happen to you, but it, uh, if it does, just undo. Uh, and uh, deselect everything um, like where it glitches, uh, and then extrude it, and then select just that part, um, and then extrude it individually, uh, and then you won't get that. It'll, it'll look uh, good. And then uh, we're gonna select just sort of randomly. We'll extrude that by like two. You can keep going and like extrude this part as well, but uh, I'm not going to. Uh, and just drag that back over uh, to zero, and again. Scale it up. Um, we'll do the arms now. Uh, if you want, like, I have um, really smooth arms, uh, like this. If you want to disable that, just go into the 5.0 new. Uh, disable all the smooth bends, and then just set the bend size. Uh, just turn that down. Uh, but I like to, I'm going to leave it on. So, yeah. And also, if you want to disable, like, subdivision surfaces, you can disable them all, like, right here. But I'm just going to leave it all on. Um, again, up to you. Uh, we'll select uh, we'll select the meshes here, um, and that's actually selecting the subdivision surface. So just open it up and uh, select the actual mesh. Polygonal selection um, and press U L for your loop selection tool. And instead of instead of extruding the whole arm like this, um, it becomes a little bit bulky, and I don't like that. Um, I'm just gonna extrude just like the end. Um, if your skin's a little bit different, uh, you can do it accordingly. But uh, this is the skin I'm working with, so. Uh, we'll look through this by like 1.5 and you see um, it looks a little bit weird there uh, if you like it you can leave it but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut it um, and, and uh, fix it so just select everything and then press K on your keyboard for the knife tool and just set the mode to the loop and now we just cut like right where it starts uh, like right there and now you see we just have a nicer uh, nicer edge uh, and yeah, that looks good. 
We have little legs as well. Um, it's it's very it's like it's the same thing really, um, but I'll just sort of walk you through it. I'll start off loop selection again. Uh, just select all this bit. Yeah, and then uh, just press D on your keyboard. Uh, set it to like three. Select everything K for knife tool and just cut it right there, right there. And you can do the same thing for the rest of the rest of the leg. All right, so I've gone ahead and finished extruding the shoes. Um, now all we have left is the uh, is the body here. Um, this skin actually has a jacket, so um, we use my jacket rig for that. So just go into your content browser, uh, grab the jacket, um, move it over a bit so we can see, and uh, set the skin to just the skin, uh, and turn on editing mode. Uh, select the mesh, and just select everything that isn't the jacket. Alright, so once you've done that, just delete all uh, delete all that, and uh, turn editing mode back off, move it to zero, and parent it to your shoulders here. Um, and you see we have this, uh, we sort of have like two, um, you can see the jacket below it, so to fix that, uh, I just went into Photoshop and uh, took, took the skin, um, and selected all of the pixels with the jacket, and then just filled it in with, uh, with a color sampled from the shirt, and then I did the same thing with the legs as well. Um, yeah, so for further explanation on, uh, on how to use this jacket and where to get it, um, I made a tutorial, um, a full tutorial on this, so I'll leave a link um, on the screen right now and again in the description. Um, yeah, so all we have left now is the actual uh, body. So I'm going to hide the head just so I can see it all. Um, I'm going to hide the, uh, the jacket as well. Um, so yeah, we'll do... Uh, instead of extruding the whole, um, like the whole uh, body, because um, then again it'll look bulky. Same thing with the arms. Uh, I'm just gonna select just like right around the skin. Um, just right like that, uh, and extrude that by like 1.5. Um, and again, just use your knife tool and cut like right on the edges. All right, uh, and we'll do this little like these uh, white things here as well. So just select them and uh, extrude them. So I already cut it. Um, so we'll just we, now we just have to cut uh, like this part like that. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically it. So if you enjoyed this tutorial or uh, found it helpful, leave a like and subscribe. Um, and for the next tutorial, uh, let's say 500 likes. Um, and yeah, so until next time, see you later.